Hey guys, what is going on? Final Boss here, and uh, I got 12 wins with the candy cart. I don't even know how I did it because I'm just kind of blown away. So, here's the thing. Let me break this down and how it went down. Alright, so I was at, what, I had 8 games in a row, so that means out of 12, I was on my 5th game, right? So I had 2 losses in my 5th game, and uh, yeah, I, I don't even know. So let me show you guys, let's see, okay, I lost to this guy 24 using my P.E.K.K.A deck that I've been crushing it with, and I'm like, hey, what an interesting deck. So let's just go uh, start off, and I normally don't like to do replays, and I haven't been done re replays in a while, I've been doing live, but like I said, I, I, <laughs> I was four and two guys. I, I did not expect to, it to come out and clutch out the 12. Um, but it's so weird whenever you get the matchmaking in this game because whenever I'm running P.E.K.K.A. I get a lot of uh, the three musketeer uh, heal and all that stuff. So don't know what he wants to do here. So I go ahead and put the stab gobs down in the back. It's uh, kind of a standard move. And uh, he puts the ice golem in the other lane. So I'm like, hey, why not just try to make a little bit of a push out of it? Um, he's down over here and I think I heal here. Um, but yeah, I mean, the game was rather close for, for most of the, the entire match. Um, until I just tried jamming in the, the lane on the bridge just to try not to let him uh, cross, which uh, that, that in turn turned out into a negative trade and uh, was absolutely insane of what absolutely went down. So, um, had a full, full health baby D going in. He poisons it. It's pretty standard. Uh, and, and this coming through. Now, guys, I used to hate Graveyard, I, I can't lie, I mean, until I got mine maxed out, I, I didn't start liking it because I'm like, hey, now this is another option I can use on ladder because I just felt like it was a really OP card, um, which, it's it's still kind of OP, especially if you don't know how to counter it, so now that I've been playing Graveyard for a while now, um, that it's, it's, it's really easy to counter, I mean, uh, it, and you can counter it smartly, it's just having enough elixir to be able to do that and defend against the push. So it's just kind of like, um, I don't know, it's a really good card, 5 Elixir, I mean, like I said, you, you should definitely have some stuff in your card, your deck that should be out of the camera. Now what really sucks about a Graveyard is that Graveyard comes with Poison, and we know that 3 Musketeers Hill is a huge thing, and the biggest counter right now is Fireball Zap. Um, so Cannon Cart, it, I, I think I even laughed at this guy and gave him a thumbs up, because I'm just like, really? Cannon Cart? I don't know. I just don't know about this card. Um, and... Uh, it, it's really tanky. It takes a while for it to die, um, and it's really good against tanks. It's really good against Graveyard, um, which is kind of funny because I think I've learned to play this deck better than this guy because I actually was using Cannon Cart um, as a defensive card, and, uh, you know, I don't know. Um, but he might be, like, the world's best and won, like, 12, 12 wins in a row with this. But honestly, I thought the deck was kind of lacking a few things, but like I said, I was not expecting. So this guy, this is guys is where... I, um, I took the, the fight, I kind of went all in on the bridge there, and the cannon cart is just destroying my P.E.K.K.A. I mean, like, I, it would have been fine against the, the Night Witch, and it would have been fine against that, but the cannon, I mean, I just don't, I didn't have a lot of interactions with the cannon cart, and, uh, this was his final push. I give him the laugh, he laughs, and, uh, I think I give him the thumbs up, I can't even remember. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I did give him a thumbs up, but you probably couldn't see all the emotes. Uh, I was blown away, though. I mean, like, I was like, really? Candy card is a good card? So, I lost to 24 there. So, this was the new set of the GC. I got one, two, three. And uh, we, you know, um, Hog Lightning, Three Musketeers, uh, and then Bridge, Bridge, Nub Spam, Bridge Spam. <laughs> and then I lost to, I should have actually, um, with, this guy was like, MMJ just he dropped like a freaking out the gate dropped a uh, he I dropped an ice golem in one lane and he just went cannon and minion horde in the other lane I'm like this is a strategy if anybody had a fireball it's so dumb who drops nine elixir like that um, out the gate um, so yeah anyway so that was number three uh, that and three and one and then went four and one and then uh, and then four and two. So then I went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, so just as you can see, let's see. Um, we're we're going to go ahead and look at the, the 12th win. It was against the Golem. Uh, it was a pretty tight match, actually. And uh, I got I got kind of lucky at the end. I think I kind of made a little bit more of a mistake at one point. But I did get a one-second clutch 
take it into overtime and everything else. So more more that you get to play with the deck, obviously, the more you're gonna get better with it and uh, know some of the interactions with those cards. I'm gonna see if I can adjust my camera a little bit. Nope, I can't adjust my camera. Can I adjust my camera? All right, sorry, I'm gonna adjust my camera mid mid talk. It's kind of driving me crazy looking at it. Great, uh, driving me crazy looking at my face. So. Uh, just kind of did a typical one type push there, you know, obviously I wanted to get the pump down and uh, now look, this is the first time actually looking at the replay like this, uh, it was kind of even elixir, so now it, it was actually a good move. Sometimes people really get you when you try to do like an all in push, um, but he, he defended or overly defended enough, so... Um, typically I like to, whatever the side the pump is, I want to push. Um, not everybody does that and I don't do that all the time but I knew that he kind of put that pump down broke and uh, I put the ice goal on night witch down classic move that everybody does in every deck um, to see if you know if I can push and get the graveyard cycle which I did there and uh, now he's gonna do that e whiz coming down um, so guys honestly I, I wouldn't recommend playing a deck in grand challenge right now without the electro wizard I honestly think still it's one of the best one of the best cards in the game still so um candy cart i had mixed feelings about it until i played this guy and had some success with it so i, I don't know um i'm not sure if my computer's lagging a little bit it was having some overheating issues because it's my backup until my motherboard gets replaced because i fried it so that kind of sucks so golem was coming in here guys i don't have a perfect plan or strategy for this but i want to space out my cards a little bit so I put this there, and then I put down the cannon cart outside the poison. Now look at the interactions of the cannon cart versus the golem. I mean, it's just chunking it down. The cannon cart does not die. I mean, yes, I, I am about to lose uh, a tower there, and uh, but I still have a chance, and I still have to destroy that so you don't get three crowned, obviously. So I'm going to go ahead and do a GY, um, and he's going to poison. Poison works to a degree but I mean you're still always going to take damage with that so yes I am getting nervous right here this was for my 12th one guys it was not ready to go down yet so I was waiting uh, long enough for that mega mini to go by I'm going to my night witch we got everything going on in got the poison going down I'm just hoping that I can get some kind of action down the cannon cart locks on gets some shots I think there and then the poison it takes it down one second left to go I am I lucky I mean, guys, I don't know if this is the best deck ever, It's and I'm not going to say it is. I actually like my Pekka deck a lot better, um, but this deck is fun, guys, and uh, and that's kind of the name of the game. I, I don't know what I was even doing there, putting the cannon card on the bridge. Uh, I'm just like, hey, I just got to keep the pressure up to not let him build up to get that golem dropping down. So I just wanted to keep that pressure up. As you can see, I'm just pounding it down with all the elixir I got. And uh, not really building it up because I don't need a big beat down push to, to defend. I don't have a peck in this deck and it's not overly amazing with this. So um, he's sitting there putting a golem down in the back. I mean, why are you putting a golem down in the back? I, I don't know. Uh, he's, he's just frustrated. He knows the game is over. Um, and if you put the cannon cart three tiles from the center, it will actually not take damage from the king. It will on the two and the one. Obviously, I watched the OJ video on it, but honestly, I, that's all I remember from anything on that. And uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm hysterical. This guy sit there and kind of BM me the whole game. I, I don't know. Uh, I, I laughed. I didn't give him the cry face, though. So anyway, uh, I, I was super excited about getting this 12. Like I mean, like four and two. I had no hopes of winning anything with this. And then I just come out the clutch of 12. And uh, no, I did not expect it. And it was just like every game, I'm like, hey guys, I'm, I'm 9 and 2. You guys want to see this this new deck? And uh, yeah. And then so, and then it was like, hey, 10 and 2. And then I'm like, whoa, 11 and 2? I was like, no way. No way. Because I said I was going to end it at like 9 and 2. I was like, all right, cool. So let's open up this chest. Maybe I'll get a Night Witch or a Bandit. Uh, maybe get some more candy carts. I'm 40 away from level 6. Um, I haven't, I haven't even, I think I bought the one offer. It was kind of crap, so I don't think it's very good. 800 gems, you can play 8 grand challenges, so if you're low on the gems, we need the cannon cards right here. There we go. 11, not bad. We need a Night Witcher Bane. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes!
Yes, two out of twenty. Let's go, baby. All right, so uh, that that's lit, man. Uh, that rarely ever happens to me. I normally get a Sparky or, or something. I'm already maxed on. Uh, I'm not gonna sit here and overkill you guys with a bunch of replays. Like I said, this was kind of unexpected. The deck is really clean. Uh, let me give these guys some uh, some troopers. And um, and as also you can see, uh, this was the deck. This is deck is starting to get popular. I got it from Kate. Uh, for my tournament on Saturday, and our clan has just been killing it nonstop with 12 wins on the Grand Challenge with it. So, I mean, I'm, I was going to do a video on this, but then this craziness happened, and I got 12 wins with a can card. I'm like, you guys needed to see this deck, and I don't really just want to post it on Twitter. Sometimes I do. Um, also, I'm going to be doing a early afternoon to early morning for the tournament for the 10,000 uh, qualifier for the $1,000 prize uh, for the top three uh, after eight weeks. So getting pretty stoked about that. So um, the three, I beat one three heel, uh, three M heel, and then the giant deck that's so popular was at the three point one. Uh, it, it's kind of crazy these matchups. The the meta is so weird right now that if I'm using graveyard, look how many graveyards I got. And uh, and if you start using Pekka or something like that, it just wants to match you with all the three M heels. It's like hey, it's like uh, it's it's like the whole game's got your number. So yeah. I lost this Kingsy guy. This guy was running a really crazy deck. Uh, Lumberjack, Rage, Hill. I mean, Hill's uh, it's a good game. Uh, if you're playing against Poison, you might get somebody one time with Hill or something like that. But, I mean, if you're using Poison, it's just it's kind of done. And I feel really stupid using, like, Fireball. Because you put Fireball on your deck with Graveyard, you're going to get some crazy matchups where you just need a Hill. Like, you know, Skeleton Army. What are you going to do? Fireball, Skeleton Army? Yeah, good luck. You're going to have another... You're gonna miss like seven Larry's and he's gonna, they're gonna own you. No, I don't know. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. So this was just kind of a quick rundown, a little chest opening. Uh, deck is insane. Um, it's a really good concept. You know, you want to get the Night Witch uh, behind the Ice Golem. That's kind of the push. Or you can do just a defend. You can send out an Ice Golem. Um, I just play very, very defensively. I don't use the Cannon Cart unless there is. Um, and unless I'm just in some weird situation, I have to use it. I don't use Cannon Cart offensively whatsoever. I think the only time you saw it was when I was just in the, the oh crap mode and uh, time was running out and I was just like, oh man, I got to get this. I got to get this. So, I mean, it was just kind of an all-in push. Here comes the poison. Here comes the Cannon Cart. Here comes the Night Witch. Here comes the, I could have got the log out, I think. Uh, if I don't even know. Maybe I did get the log out. Um, but <laughs> guys, 12 wins with Cannon Cart. I don't know. Uh, I, the verdict's still out on this thing. I'm not sure about it. I'm not going to pass judgment, but it really looks stupid. It's literally, literally the dumbest card in the game as far as looks go. And you see this stupid cannon rolling down the thing. It's like, oh, it's, I'm the super fast cannon. But, I mean, it really does well against Giant, Pekka. It does well against Graveyard. It does well against Knight. It does anything like that. But you want to have a counter push on it. So uh, you really don't want to just leave it hanging out. I mean... I think almost every single time I used the can card, I was either really close to getting damage or almost got damage once it moved over there with full health, obviously. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I, I, uh, honestly, I think it's too new that people just don't know how to interact with it. Uh, and, and that might actually work in everyone's favor too, but you want to have a deck that has some decent synergy. Um, I, I saw someone using Golem with it. Uh, that doesn't really feel like a Golem type card. Uh, I mean, I, I, I guess it could be with anything. Giant seemed a little wonky, um, but uh, you know, I think it could work with bait. I don't know. It just it just seems like a card that just fits awkwardly. Honestly, this is the the most comfortable miss I've I've seen and played with this. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I love you guys. See you guys on the next one. Peace.